Well, Lou, these military heroes, they're being remembered today for their bravery and sacrifice. Their loved ones posted tributes throughout the day, saying that they will never be forgotten. Navy Corpsman Max Soviak from Ohio, a medic who family members confirmed was one of the Americans killed in Thursday's terror attack, along with Lance Corporal Kareem Nakui from Norco, California, and Marine Corps Corporal Hunter Lopez from the Coachella Valley. Lopez's family honored his short life by posting these photos on social media, writing, it was a dream of his to join the military since the age of 11, and that he spent every free moment training and perfecting his craft. Graphic new video shows a frantic crowd of civilians running from Taliban gunfire one hour before the deadly blast that killed dozens of Afghans and 13 U.S. service members as they try to control the chaotic scene at Kabul airport as warnings circulated of a possible terrorist attack. President Biden speaking at the White House with the Israeli Prime Minister said despite the carnage, the military evacuations will continue, the mission moving forward. The mission there being performed is dangerous. And it's uh, now it's come with a significant loss of American personnel. As this process has been ongoing, uh, our goal has been to put as many people on as many planes uh, as we can. The Pentagon provided new details of the horrific attack, clarifying earlier reports that there were two suicide bombers. I can confirm uh, for you that we do not believe that there was a second explosion at or near uh, the Barron Hotel. Uh, than it was one suicide uh, bomber. The Islamic State Group's affiliate known as ISIS-K has claimed responsibility for the attack, posting this message on social media. The Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan strongly condemned the attack, saying in a tweet in Arabic that they're very focused on its people's security and that the attack occurred in a location where American soldiers were responsible for its security. <laughs> Meantime, more than 100 wounded Afghans continue to receive care at a nearby medical facility in Afghanistan, while others waited outside Kabul airport, anxious to flee the contested region. Afghan officials say the death toll has increased to more than 170. This tragedy has hit close to home here in the United States. The superintendent for a school district in Wyoming confirmed in a statement that Riley McCollum, a 2019 graduate of Jackson Hole High School, was one of the U.S. Marines killed in action, sending prayers to McCollum's family and promising the entire school community will find ways to honor his life. Now, some of the other U.S. servicemen killed in the attack include Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover from Utah and Marine Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz from Missouri. Lou and Mark will send it back to you in the studio.